Hey everyone, today we're going to create something inspired by the Windows 11 wallpaper. It's going to look something like this, and we can create many variations from this and animate it as well. I guess that's a free addition that we get with our procedural uh, shape. Alright, so let's dive right into it. First thing we're going to do is create an icosphere. And we're going to create a wave texture. Delete the shader. Switch to rendered mode so we see what we're doing. And let's add a subdivision surface. We're going to need a lot of subdivisions for this to work. And I'm just going to dial in these values from my previous scene because it can be quite scene dependent, this effect. Next up, we're going to create a noise texture and plug the facing value into the vector. And let's copy these values again. Scale 0.9. And that's it for now. All right. Now let's create a displacement effect. And for now we don't see anything. Let's also create a subsurface scattering material. All right, we need to go into our settings and enable displacement. Uh, for that we're gonna need cycles. And it will be under here, displacement, and change this to displacement only. All right, we're going to need our displacement shader. And actually plug this into the height. and remove the normal. Right, let's start creating a light. This needs to get way stronger. Let's tell it back actually. 1000. Yeah, this looks better. Right, so next up, we're going to create another noise texture. And we're going to create an add, uh, actually, a mass shader. Oh, and make sure the order is correct. So the displacement should be the last node. So let's switch this around. Like 
this. Make sure to set this roughness to zero. That's something very important. And let's set the scale to 0.3 and this to 15.8. Right, create a U and saturation. We're just gonna leave this for now. As you can see, we might need some more subdivisions, but we'll change that later. First, let's add a brightness and contrast. Set the brightness to 0.4 and the contrast to 3.3. All right, now we're pretty close to our end result. The only thing we have to do is create another math and create a value. So we can control our second noise texture and set this to point one. Right. Increase this. As you can see, the higher you go, the more smooth your mesh will become. Let's go up to eight. Now it looks pretty smooth. Let's uh, load in our reference image so we can use it as a color picker. And let's set our color to somewhere around here. Alright, let's start working on the lighting. We have a strong side light in our example, so let's uh, copy that. Looking pretty good already. Uh, copy the light over. And set it right behind our shape. That would be a good moment to create a camera as well. Let's do that in a moment. But first, let's uh, create our fog. Go over to World and create a volume scatter. And set this to 0 0.001. That's usually a value which uh, works well with volume scatter. Alright, set this even higher. Something like this. And let's color pick this uh, light as well. Alright, now let's uh, set up our camera. Lock the camera to view and go into it. Press our icosphere and press F to focus on it. All 
All right, I like this composition. Now let's create another copy. This is going to be our fill light. Make it quite big so it gets really soft. And change down the power. Turn down this scale to your liking. Right, uh, lastly, we can animate it, which is quite uh, straightforward. We're just going to create a mapping node behind our noise texture, and after that, uh, texture coordinate. And then we're going to animate the location. So I found these values to work nice. 1.25 meters. It creates quite a, a slowly evolving effect. If you want to preview the animation, you can actually go into this shading mode. You will get a bit of an idea of uh, what will be rendered. Ch change these to linear to get a smooth and evolving animation. The last thing we could do is animate our camera. So let's set a couple of keyframes for that. and change the interpolation to linear again. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And please share your results in the Discord. I'm very curious what you come up with. And here are some of my own variations, which I created. All right, thanks for watching.